Welcome to the Newton tutorial series. I'm Michael Cruz with AC Tech, and this tutorial is going to cover basic importing of geometry into Newton. Newton supports two file types, STL and DXF. For STL, we support both binary and ASCII types, but for DXF, we only support surfaces in the DXF file that were drawn using 3D faces. If you've worked with AutoCAD before, you know what a 3D face is. It's essentially just one or two triangles paired together. Similarly, uh, the STL file writes all its data as triangles. So at its basic level, Newton requires you to import your geometry using triangles. So the, the origin of the coordinate system, we make the assumption that the origin is at the center of the head pulley. Now, of course, your file can have whatever origin you would like, but when you create your custom belts in Newton, Newton will stick the center of the head pulley at the origin of the model. It's, it's just the arbitrary point that we have chosen to be 0, 0, 0. So we can either, when we're importing the geometry, we can overwrite the entire current geometry, we can add to the current geometry, or we can overwrite just the current layer that, that we have selected. So we're going to just overwrite the whole geometry. It tells us we imported 66 triangles. If there were duplicate triangles or zero area triangles, this notification would have told us that it had skipped over those triangles. Now let's say that I wanted to try out a different skirt this teal skirt section. Let's say I, I had a different design and that different design was saved in that same DXF file or in a different DXF file. What I would do if I wanted to just replace that is I could say well let's go to our cert skirt layer import geometry and select overwrite current layer. So then what that would do is it would search the, the DXF file or the it would search the file for a layer that has the exact same name as the one the current layer skirt spelled the same with the same capitalization and it would replace the triangles on the layer with the triangles on that layer in the new geometry file so it says four new triangles were loaded 66 total triangles and obviously it was those two 3d faces which is a total of four triangles it just re-imported them now the other functions on our import import window here uh, scaling factor Newton Newton geometry works in millimeters so if your input file is in inches you want to set that to 25.4 similarly if you're working in meters you want to set it to a thousand the minimum triangle area is just a, a minimum tolerance for importing triangles. If you've worked with DXF files before, then you sometimes you, you know that you sometimes end up with these zero area triangles or um, a, a series of very, very small triangles that don't really add to the geometry. They just kind of got inserted somehow. So we don't want to have, you know, three times as many triangles simply because we have a bunch of zero area triangles. So setting even just a very small minimum tolerance, you know, 0.01 millimeters is tiny. We're still going to cut off all of those zero area triangles. The XY -Z, XYZ position offset is for if you want to offset the, the origin of the input file. Now this is especially useful for people who use STL files. So if you work in uh, SolidWorks, what our SolidWorks users generally do is they export their model to STL files. They, they will, since, ex, since the STL file doesn't support layers, they will es export each separate piece of their geometry to a different STL file and then they'll import them one at a time. However, when you export to the STL file, you're not always given the option to specify whether to retain the origin of the original model. Sometimes the program will simply stick the origin at the center of whatever you're exporting. So that means if you were to import all, all the files, they would just be stacked right on top, all the layers would be stacked right on top of each other. So if that's the case, then you can go ahead and specify your position offset using these boxes. And the units here should be the same as the units for the original file. So if your file works in inches, specify the offset in inches as well.
So all you would have to do is open up your CAD file and, and physically measure from the center of gravity to uh, the, from the center of gravity of what you're exporting to the origin of the model, get those three XYZ dimensions, and then just go ahead and punch those in here when you're importing the geometry. So some other DXF options that we have, when you're importing a DXF file, you can choose whether to ignore hidden or frozen layers. You'll just skip right over them as though they weren't there. Uh, for STL options, you can enter a layer name since the STL uh, file doesn't include a layer name. However, this feature was, was generally used before we gave you the ability to rename layers. So since the STL file doesn't have a layer name, it would just assign it layer 0, layer 1, layer 2. But um, now that you can rename the layer, you don't necessarily have to put a layer name here because you can just rename it later. Change z-axis will will change the vertical axis. Some CAD models might use y as your vertical axis. We use z. So all this will do is basically just rotate the input file according to these rules. And then finally, this checkbox here will clear all the layer information on each layer before importing the new file. So let's say uh, by default, let's say on on our um, receiving belt we had specified some velocity of you know 2.1.1 2.2 3.3 now if i had all these parameters set for each of these layers and i wanted to reimport the entire geometry because a few of the layers had changed but i don't want to go through and you know punch in all these numbers again for all the layers so by default newton will look at the layer name and say hey this layer in the new file has the exact same name as a layer in the old file let's go ahead and retain these layer parameters. Unless you want to totally clear all the parameters, you can do that right here. It'll just delete everything and start you off with a brand new uh, geometry. So then, there are a few controls here for working with these layers. Obviously, you select the current layer using this uh, combo box. You can specify the color of the layers right here if you want to change the color of the layers. Uh, when after you finish running the simulation when you open up the playback file you can go ahead and change the layer color there as well sometimes it's just easier if you can set all the layer colors that you want to use right here rather than modifying all the the subsequent playback files you can rename any of the layers to whatever you want you can delete the layers one at a time from the geometry however when you get to the last layer Newton won't let you delete the last layer because it's the only one left. It says, no, just go ahead and overwrite the whole geometry if you want to delete it. It's the same thing. So that covers uh, basic importing of geometry into Newton. If you have any other questions that weren't covered in this tutorial or in any of the other geometry tutorials, then go ahead and uh, shoot us an email at info at com. Thanks.